Hello everyone, I'm Steve from Theta Servos and I'm going to be doing a video here on how you program basically any data servo. And I'm going to go over it basically um, the three main components I'm going to change is going to be the centering, uh, reverse, I mean 760 or 1520, as well as uh, if I want, you know, changing the soft start, I'm going to change the soft start as well. So. All right, here we go. Just to kind of give you a background on what I'm working with. Um, it's all connected to a Neo and a V-Bar control. I have the servo programming box and I'm running the THS921 micro servos. Um, this is gonna be part of the Genesis, mini Genesis build. But yeah, this is a little separate video here. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is kind of learn the programming box and how it's gonna work or how it works. Um, the way I'm doing it right here is I have my Neo and I have that channel one plugged into the programming box. Now here I for the input signal and your positive and negative. And then on the servo side, you'll see S for servo or signal. And then that's your signal plus and negative for the white wire on that side. Okay. These three things here on the screen in prom tests are represented by this buttons these buttons on the pad here so prom meaning program if i want to go into that i can hit that and then you'll see there's now more buttons here read file is this button read servo is that button exit is the top button so the, what you see on the screen is basically what the layout of your programming box is so let's go back out here um we're gonna test the in option. So here, I'll give you the two options here. We have your in option or your test option. If you go to your test, you can enable 1500 or 2020 or 1020. And this will make it easier if I put a servo horn on here. Okay. So then you can see now 15, 2020, 1020, and then back to 1520. Now, if I go in, what that does is it takes the signal from my Neo and plumbs it to the servo. So right now on my V control, I have it in the um, trim mode. So everything is centered. But if I take it out of that, you'll see now the servo will move. It'll move with my, my controls. So it'll take the input from the Neo and plumb it through to the servo. So that's important because what I want to do is I want to find center on this servo and the reversing and everything when it's connected to the fly bars unit. So how it's going to be at the end state of this, um, this servo here. So this is going to be my rear elevator servo and I'll probably put a different horn on it. But for example here, we're just going to use this one and you'll see that it's not centered. Okay, it's kind of turned clockwise a little bit too much and we want to turn it counterclockwise. And right now, this signal is coming from the Neo here, remember, it's coming from here. So when I go to the trim menu and it's now send, sending a 1500 signal, this is the signal that I want to trim to. Not the, the test, because that's actually 1520. So you'll see 1520, that looks almost spot on but it's maybe just a millimeter over but when you go into the input and what the Neo is actually sending out it actually turned a little bit more clockwise which means I have to give a little more adjustment on the neutral so the first thing I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna leave it in this end mode I'm gonna get out of my menu and then position the servo the way I think it's gonna position in the heli and check for reversing so positive is going up negative is going down so it's going the right direction I'm gonna go back into my trim menu and then I'm gonna actually trim the servo. So to trim the servo, there's gonna be a bunch of button combinations I'm gonna kind of quickly go through. So I'm gonna first exit out and go into program mode. I'm gonna read the servo and see what currently it has set. And I went up arrow. Um, from this screen, if you can scroll all the way down, but if I'm just adjusting neutral, you can go from your main menu here straight up and that'll give you to your neutral. 
So let's adjust this neutral here and I'm gonna adjust this value one direction, about three degrees. So each number is a degree, so 3.0 is three degrees. I'm gonna hit the center button to get out of that menu and then I'm gonna right servo to, to write it and I'm gonna exit to save out of it and I'm gonna go back in. Okay, so you saw it moved a little bit counterclockwise in the direction I wanted. And in fact, I feel like that three degrees was spot on. I mean, look at that, look, look at the thing through the hole. It's very, it's right there, nice and level. So I think this is perfect right there. The other thing I wanna adjust here is, let's take a look here in the programming box. So I'm gonna read the servo again, and now this time I'm gonna go down. So it's on heli mode. We have acro, buggy, and drift, and we're not doing any of that. We, this is where we can reverse it. I'm not going to reverse it. This is also where we can go into narrow band. Set this from 1520 to 760. And we'll, these are the PID settings. We're going to default those. I'm not going to adjust any of those. Max amps. 3.5 amps seems like a good amount of max amps this little servo can pull. So I'll leave that as well. And the only other thing I want to adjust is the soft start. So just to give it an idea what the soft start looks like. Here, I'll move the servo here. I'm going to leave it at 16. And when we um, exit out and go in, you can see the startup. Okay, not too bad. But on the helicopter, I like it slow. I like it very slow. So let's go down to soft start and I'm gonna make it, my value is two that I like to use. You can try all the different ones, but um, two is what I'm gonna write it to. And then let's see now how slow it starts. Maybe that's too slow. For this servo, maybe it's too slow. So let's uh, let's kind of go up on that a little. We'll go back down to soft to uh, soft start, and let's make that let's make that five. Okay, we'll write it, we'll exit, and then go back to in. So let me adjust it so it's, it needs to go back to center. Yeah, that's all. That looks better so quiet can't even tell that the servo's on but there you go that is how you do your centering and as well as your soft start adjustment um, if we wanted to let's just say for for the sake of it let's say when we go into the and this is backwards right let's say we go back into the neo control and this is backwards then what we can do is Instead of reversing it here, I can just go exit, program, read servo, go down to reverse, hit right to select it, like to turn it on, and then hit the middle button to exit out. We're gonna right servo, and exit and go back in. And you'll see the servo now adjusted and now it's backwards, reverse. Okay, I'm gonna switch that back. Remember I'm at high stick right here, so if I switch that back, right to the servo and then go back in, you'll see it reversed and now it's back to being high stick. And there you go. All right, so I'm getting this tail servo set up here and I wanted to show the configuration of, uh, let's go here first. I wanna show basically switching from narrow band to wide band or 1520 by 760 versus 760. So we're gonna go and read the servo here. And we'll see here that narrow band is turned on, so it's set for 760, but I'm gonna actually go and turn it off. So we're gonna turn it and make it 1520. Okay, so you'll see that narrow band is turned off. And then I'm gonna also do the soft start like I normally do and turn that down to two. Okay. All right. So now it's just 1520, I should be able to go in and it should boot up and it should stay at the center point. So on this, I'm gonna make the servo 90 degrees is where I want it to be. You can see that I need to adjust the center point there. 
But right now, this is 15, okay? If I get out of it, you'll see I'm able to go up and down like a cyclic servo at 15, um, 20 pulse lift, okay? I'm gonna exit out, turns the servo off. We're gonna go to read servo. I'm gonna turn narrow band, oops, narrow band back on. Okay, and I'm gonna save it. Sorry. So I'm gonna go to narrow band back on and I'm gonna write the servo and save it. And I'm gonna exit it out, but I'm not gonna go in yet. So I'm gonna actually go into the tail servo channel now. Cause I set it for narrow band. I don't wanna use uh, a wide band setting because it's gonna jam up the servo and get all funky on the servo. So now that I set it on the tail servo, now if I go in, it's gonna go in the tail channel. Okay, right now the tail channel has zero input because oops, let's go into the model here i need to pick a tail servo type so in the neo when you do a full uh, when you do a new setup you need to pick this tail servo type so i'm going to pick 760 by 500 hertz and that boots up the servo now so you see now the servo is getting 749 signal and that 749 signal is equating into a center pulse width where we're now we're gonna go positive and negative and we're in the 760, okay? Okay, again, all I had to do was basically go into prom, go to narrow band and switch over to um, either turn it on or off, that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it on and I'm gonna do my centering here. So let's uh, do that real quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try going negative two degrees. Yep, and that's exactly where I need to go in that direction and maybe a, a hair too much like a half a degree so I'm gonna go in here prom read the servo go up I'm gonna go half a degree back so 1.5 then write the servo exit and then turn it back on that slow start like that as a, a 90 point for the tail servo so there we go and then um one of the things i need to do is make sure it's going if it's going reverse or not right now it's on reverse i'm just going to turn reverse off and then i'll adjust it on the servo before i get it fully mounted but just want to show you the 760 versus 15 20 set all right hopefully this video helps you if you have any questions, feel free to message or leave a comment in the video and uh, I'll get back to you.